Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Dunkles. This Urtyp Dunkel is coming from Brauerei Wolf in Rüdenhausen in Unterfranken. And it comes in this uh, so-called NRW bottle as you can see, looking like this. Um, I've been having one beer before from this brew on the channel. I reviewed the pills and it was really nice. And um, I'm also having the Bock with the blue label that I'm gonna review in the future, which is a seasonal one. but. That's the three beers that this brewery is having, and it's I think it's a one-man brewery. Uh, I at least know that it's a very very small brewery, one of the smallest ones in Franconia that is having those uh, uh, bottles instead of the uh, hand-filled one-liter bottles that uh, smaller breweries is having. But I think this brewery is filling up with hand, even though uh, it's um, a half-liter bottles like this one. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it very much, of course, and uh, I think it's gonna be really, really nice because the pills was nice, as you can see, no print on the top crown cap, and here you see the top label, here you see the main label of Rüdenhäuser Wolf Urtyp Dunkel, a uh, very old-fashioned label, in my opinion, really, really old-fashioned label, I think it has been looking like this, the label, for many, many, many years, maybe many, many decades. Uh, so that's something very positive. It gives a nice impression. Uh, of course, the brewery should keep the old fashioned label and not change it, not modernize it. I really, really hate with all my heart and it makes me throw up when I see old brewers that is trying to look modern and trying to change their labels into modern looking uh, ugly labels. That's disgusting. So big uh, respect for this brewery for not changing the, their labels, showing honor to their her heritage and um, continue the old tradition so you can look at the label and see okay it's an old uh, old style brewery, traditional brewery. Let's start with opening up the bottle. Like that. Smoke coming out showing that it's real fresh and yeah it's filled by hand because it's beer up to the very very top so you need to be careful while pouring it up like this. And uh, yeah, this is Dunkless. It's gonna be really nice to try it with the bottle right here. Meanwhile, as you can see, nice, nice foam crown showing that it's really, really um, fresh and a nice two finger white foam head, as I said. As you can see, close up, uh, really typical for the style with its typical dark amber color. Let's get the aroma, which is definitely really, really fresh, malty and nice. This is how I want to do this. So, it's gonna be really, really a pleasure to enjoy it. Let's give it a try. The Brauerei Wolf, Rüdenhausen, Unterfranken, Urtyp Dunkel, Post. Yeah, really, really great. This is um, undoubtedly. Um, Nice Dunkless. I um, I can't say anything else about that. It's uh, straightforward. It's really great. It's a pleasure to enjoy it. Uh, it says right here on the bottle: "Ultip Dunkel, Rüdenhäuser, Wolf, Ultip Dunkel, Vollmundig, Würzig, Gebrat, nach altem Hausrezept aus dunklem Malz, Brauerei Abfüllung, Brautradition seit 1746, uh, Wolf, Brauerei Rüdenhausen, Brauerei Wolf, 97355 Rüdenhausen, Ruf." 093 uh, volume. Yeah, that's the information. I think even the label is being put on by hand because you see how it looks like a little bit uh, like this uh, fast uh, on put it on the label. Anyway, really, really great Dunkless, of course, since it's a small old brewery, the expectations is really high, but it lives up to that. So if you're into Franconian Dunkless, or if you're interested about uh, getting into them, this is a great, great example. I'm gonna visit a uh, link to the brewery's website, hope you're gonna visit it, hope you're gonna find this one, and hope you're gonna continue to uh, follow my channel for more interesting German beer reviews. See you again in the next German beer review.